Hey guys, Rocktimus Prime here. Uh, gonna be doing uh, a voice audition for Zombie Slayers Nation uh, and his stop motion project. Yay! So, uh, gonna be doing. Hello. Uh, yes, Ben Kenobi, C3PO, Darth Vader, and Han Solo. But first, we'll do Han Solo. And I thought we would do... I, I mean, I may not get this completely accurate, but I think you'll get... You'll get the gist. So I thought I would do the... This is all completely from memory, so hopefully... I get this right. This is in the cantina for Han Solo. Han Solo. The captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. <laughs> Fast ship. Oh, well, you never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. I've outrun Imperial cruisers, and I'm not talking about the local bulk cruisers, mind you. I'm talking about the big Carillion ships now. She's fast enough for you, old man. What's the cargo? <laughs> what is it, some kind of local trouble? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? It's going to cost you something extra. 10,000, all in advance. Yeah, but who's gonna fly it, kid? You? 17, huh? Alright, you guys got yourselves a ship. Docking Bay 94. What? <laughs> 17,000? Those guys must really be desperate. Go back to the ship and get her ready. Yes, Squeedo, I was just on my way to see your boss. Tell Jabba that I've got his money. Yeah, but this time, I've got the money. I don't have it with me. Tell Jabba. Look, even I get bored sometimes. You think I had a choice? Over my dead body. Yes, I bet you have. Sorry about the mess. Alright, so that was Han Solo. Now, let's do some... Uh, do old Obi-Wan as he meets Luke Skywalker. Well, hello there. Come here, my little friend. Don't be afraid. Oh, don't worry, he'll be alright. Rest easy, son. You've had a busy day. You are fortunate to be all in one piece. The Junland wastes are not to be traveled lightly. So tell me, young Luke, what brings you out this far? Obi-Wan, Kenobi. Obi-Wan. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. No, he's not dead. Well, not yet. But of course I know him. He's me. I haven't gone by the name of Obi-Wan since all oh, before you were born. Don't ever remember owning a droid. Very interesting. And uh, now when they're in the actual shop, this is, uh, er, not shop. But when uh, Ben is talking to Luke about the lightsaber. I have something for you, Luke. Your father wanted you to have this when you were older, but your uncle wouldn't allow it. He was afraid you'd follow old Obi-Wan on some damn fool idealistic crusade like your father did. Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. A more elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Before the dark times. Before the Empire. A young Jedi named Darth Vader, who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil, helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. Darth Vader betrayed and murdered your father. Now on to, uh, this is Darth Vader talking to Governor Tarkin, 
um, about Obi-Wan Kenobi. He is here. A tremor in the Force. The last time I felt it was in the presence of my old master. Don't underestimate the Force. Obi-Wan is here. The Force is with him. Escape is not his plan. I must face him alone. Let's see if we have any more Darth... Aha! Mm -hmm. Um, this is General Tag, T-A-G-G-E. Um, back when they're talking about the plans for the Death Star. I can read these, too. Like, for General, uh, that General guy, and, uh, Admiral Mahdi, and things like that. So if you want me to, I, I guess I will. And what of the Rebellion? If the Rebels have obtained a complete technical readout of this station, it is possible, however unlikely that they might find a weakness and exploit it. The plans you refer to will soon be back in our hands. Any attack made on the rebels against the station will be a useless gesture, no matter what technical data they've obtained. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. I suggest we use it. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. Your sad devotion to that ancient Jedi religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes or given you clairvoyance enough to find the rebels hidden. <coughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release him. As you wish. <coughs> And 3PO. Um, I think I'll do the scene where uh, Uncle Owen and Luke are talking to 3PO about uh, the buying reload lifters. Well, of course you don't, son. Not in an environment such as this. Sir, my first job was programming binary load lifters. Very similar to your evaporators in most respects. Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. So yeah, hopefully, uh, Zombie Slayers Nation, uh, you get some good stuff out of that. And even if you want to, uh, I can be a stormtrooper. Uh, just has my regular voice if you want. So um, let me know what you think. I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.